So last time on Dragon Ball Super VE, Vegeta and King Vegeta continued their training in the hyperbolic time chamber, where King Vegeta finally learned that Frieza had been revived and thus triggered his ascension. Meanwhile, Goku was left to his own devices, training by himself until Whis approached him with the idea of reviving his own father, Bardock and thus began a shocking reunion where Bardock's first reaction was to attack his own son Goku thinking he's a stranger. And in today's manga, Goku will find a way to convince Bardock of exactly who he is. But before we begin, support this video and channel by leaving a like right now as you're reading this and watching till the end for its shocking conclusion. Enjoy. Our story begins with Goku having just arrived in Hell with Whis having just been attacked by his own father, who of course has no idea who he is. Whis immediately looks surprised saying, Oh my, so is this how you Saiyans greet each other? I have a feeling this may be much more interesting than I thought it would be. Goku with sweat dripping down his face replies however, Uh, not quite. This is definitely not how I imagined meeting my dad for the first time. <laughs> but I tell you what, that punch was strong. Bardock removes his fist from Goku's hand and steps back with a confusing face, saying, <laughs> Dad? Saiyan? What the hell are you talking about, punk? Who are you? And what made you want to approach me while I was asleep? Are you some kind of pervert? Goku understandably looks completely bemused at the words that just came out of his father's mouth, with him quietly replying, uh, Did my dad really just say that on the very first time he met me? Somehow, I don't think this is what happened when Vegeta met his father. Goku's face then gets serious and says, Listen, my name is Goku, I'm a Saiyan from Earth, and I am your son. It's nice to finally meet you, Dad. Bardock on hearing this is momentarily a bit shocked after hearing the word Earth, as he remembers that Gine and him programmed Kakarot's ship to go to Earth over 30 years ago. He says, A Saiyan from Earth? It couldn't be! My son could never be you. You look like a weakling. You don't even have a tail! Not to mention, you look nothing like me! Meanwhile, Whis looks on at the two literally identical figures, awkwardly listening on as Bardock refutes his son looking like him. He comments with a smile, Really? He thinks he looks nothing like him? I think I can see where Goku-san got his intelligence from. How interesting. Goku, who inexplicably actually agrees with Bardock, then smiles and says, Fair enough. I guess you're right. We don't actually look a lot like each other. Your hair is a lot weirder. And it's true. I may not have my tail anymore, but I'm no weakling, Dad. I'll prove to you I'm a Saiyan. And your son. The only way a Saiyan knows how. And following saying these strong words, Goku then gets into fighting stance, ready to really sell this like a Saiyan. Let's go Bardock, I tell you what, if you can beat me, I'll leave you to sleep as much as you want, but if I win, you have to accept me as your son and hear me out, okay? Bardock surprised at the response but of course excited smiles and gets into his own fighting stance saying, huh, an earthling beating a Saiyan? Get real! That planet is full of weaklings, and you're no different. But I admire the courage. I'll take that offer. But don't blame me if you end up staying down here forever. Saiyans only fight to the death. And Goku, happy that his father and him can finally trade blows, replies, No problem. Give it your best shot. And without warning, Bardock immediately rushes in. <laughs> Reciprocates by rushing in too. Immediately, both hit each other as if moving in tandem. With the two damaged, Goku smiles and thinks to himself, Wow, 
Wow! He hits even harder than King Vegeta! This is definitely my dad. <laughs> and again, at the same time, the two trade a kick this time. Watching from below, Whis can notice all of this and comments, Hmm, this is very, very interesting to watch. He fights shockingly similar to Goku-san. Their timing is almost completely in tune. It may be a long shot, but Bardock-san may have the same kind of potential. Following this, Goku then flies up into the air, and Bardock, noticing this, then comments, <laughs> What's this? Is the Earthling scared and realizing what he's got himself into? Don't think you can escape me! Your life ends here! Immediately, then flies up following him. Before Goku noticing his father taking the bait, smiles and says, If you're going to call me an Earthling, let's see how you handle some Earthling techniques. Bardock then reaches just behind Goku, and Goku slowly mutters, you can thank Tien Shinhan for this one, before suddenly turning around in an instant, shocking Bardock. Huh? Solar Flare! Instantly bringing out a long forgotten move to unleash an incredible flash of light. Bardock, who has never seen anything like this, looks straight into the light, taking it point blank, and immediately is left blind in shouting, Gah! What the hell was that? Ah! I can't see! My eyes! Goku, who is impressed with his own quick thinking, smiles, thinking back to when he first used this on Vegeta too. Ha! Looks like what worked on Vegeta back in the day works on all Saiyans. I should have used this on King Vegeta too. But anyway, this match is mine, Dad! And immediately taking advantage of the situation, Goku rushes in for one final punch. Ha! But. Something strange happens while Bardock's eyes are closed, and completely unexpectedly, Bardock dodges Goku's punch without even looking. <laughs> Immediately, Goku is caught completely off guard. He looks on at his father wondering, What the? Was that just a fluke? Try and dodge this! Immediately proceeds to rush in once more. Yeah! But yet again, Bardock, still blind, dodges the attack instantly. At this point, Whis, who is still watching on, is now shocked himself, commenting, Bardock son, is this what I think it is? This trip has turned into quite the amazing development. I need to watch on. Goku, however, has gone pretty irritated at this point, confused at how he can't even touch Bardock now, and remarks, what is going on here? A minute ago, there was barely any difference between us in our face warms, and now suddenly, he can make a fool of me with his eyes closed? I'm just gonna have to finish this in super. <laughs> Immediately, Goku unleashes a barrage of attacks, now as a Super Saiyan, but nothing changes. Every single attack is dodged perfectly and consistently. Which at this point leaves Goku shocked and open mouth. Whoa! Bardock! This shouldn't be possible! These movements! This definitely is! However, while Goku contemplates and figures out what he's witnessing, Bardock suddenly regains his vision and opens his eyes. <laughs> and immediately in a rage, rushes in to attack the first object he sees. <laughs> But with Goku in his Super Saiyan form, the punch does absolutely nothing, as if punching a solid wall. Bardock's face is understandably shocked, but before he can even take in the fact Goku's now blonde, Goku vanishes before him. Huh? Where did he go? And immediately behind Bardock, Goku appears and strikes Bardock immediately, this time still thinking that Bardock may dodge. However, he doesn't. Bardock instead immediately crashes down to the ground in probably the hardest attack he's ever faced. Meanwhile is a perplexed Goku who comments, huh? Why didn't he dodge that one? I 
might have gone too far with that one. I hope he's okay. Damn it! Some son I am! And laying on the ground completely incapacitated is Bardock, who can only think to himself, What was that power? This kid! He can't be an earthling! Is he really my son? It feels like I've just been hit by a planet! Ah! Slowly but surely, Bardock gets to his feet and continues talking with deep breaths, saying, ah, ah, This brat is definitely a Saiyan with power like that, but there's something different about him. But suddenly, Bardock gets a closer look at Goku and realizes his change in appearance. Huh? Wait a minute, what happened to him? Is this some kind of transformation? How bizarre! This must be just like that bright light from earlier. Just another strange earthling magic trick. Huh. Imagine a Saiyan of blonde hair. How unfitting. But that's... That's my son. After saying this, Bardock finally reflects after all these years on the events that preceded this moment saying, So, Kakarot, it is you. You survived Planet Vegeta, just like we hoped, just like Gine wanted. If only she was here to see this. I'm glad. I've got to meet you, son, and learn you aren't a total weakling. But I'm afraid, my son or not, we're in a fight, and this isn't over until it's over. <laughs> Arnold then rushes in at Goku, who is emotionless unaware that he is a Super Saiyan and is immediately outclassed and stopped in his track with just two attacks. <laughs> Goku, now realizing that when Bardock's eyes are open there is nothing to fear, looks to Whis and yells, Hey Whis, you saw what I saw, right? Do it. And Whis, as if already knowing exactly what Goku wants then, replies, Yes, Goku-san. I saw it. Your father sure is an interesting fellow, if this is what I think it is. We'll find out for sure now. <laughs> and immediately from Whis's staff, a strange lightning bolt hits Bardock and immediately envelops him. <laughs> My eyes! Where am I? I can't see! Not this again! What have you done to me, evil sorcerer? Goku, with his request seemingly complete, then rushes in at Bardock once more, and just as he expected, Bardock this time dodges. Yeah! He carries on just to be sure as intensely as he can, but not even a single blow can land on Bardock. With his prediction confirmed, Goku looks towards Whis with a smile thinking, It's just as we thought, Whis. I don't know how but my dad can do it too. And Whis, also smiling at this incredible surprise, then zaps Bardock once more. Suddenly, Bardock can see again as his pupils return, but with this being the second time he lost his sight, he is completely enraged. You're not getting me with your tricks a third time! I'm taking you both down now! Rushing towards Goku, who just stands still. Instantly, Goku disengages Bardock and goes back into his base form saying, Alright, hold it there. That's enough for today, Dad. He then looks at his father with a smile and says, You're a really amazing guy, Bardock. I'm really glad I finally got to meet you. He then, without warning, moves to hug his father for the first time, shocking Bardock as he does it. Huh? K Kakarot? With a brief tear coming from his face, Goku tells his father, This fight was incredible. I'm always going to remember this. I know about everything you and mom sacrificed to save me. I just want to say, I'm sorry I didn't come and see you sooner. But Bardock, understanding his son's feelings, smiles gently, rubbing Goku's head and replies, It's okay, Kakarot. I'm just happy you're still alive, and I'm proud to see how strong you became, even on Earth. 
There's nothing to be sorry about. Your timing couldn't have been better. Now, why don't you introduce me to your friend over there? After blinding me with his magic, I have a few choice words I could say to him. And with this, the two then fly over to win. They then arrive before Whis, who was watching from afar this whole time, and then Whis proceeds to walk over to them, instantly courteously introducing himself, saying, Hello, Bardock-san. My name is Whis. I am Goku-san's master on Earth. It's nice to finally meet the father of one of my finest students. Immediately, Bardock is taken aback by Whis's words. Wait! Kakarot? This evil sorcerer is... Your master? No wonder you had that strange transformation. Hmph. <laughs> Whatever. What made you two come here and seek me out anyway? And Whis replies saying, Well, Goku-san is in need of a training partner on Earth. And seeing your fight, I can tell you will be a fine opponent for him as his father. What I'm saying is, I have the power to revive you. What? Power like that truly exists? Immediately, Bardock is in complete shock, having never heard of any such phenomenon before. Whis, in an effort to calm Bardock, then explains, Yes, Bardock-san, I can bring you back to the living world. I am no evil sorcerer, and there is nothing to fear. I am an angel, and far beyond any of the beings of the other world here. I am not limited by the same rules, and I can bring you back to life at any moment, but only if that is what you truly wish. So I must ask you one last time, would you like to accept my offer? Bardock thinks for a moment and questions back, but why me? Kakro is clearly far stronger than me in every way. My punches couldn't even do a thing to him once his hair turned blonde. I was practically a punching bag for him. Honestly, as much as I'd like to help you, son, I would just be wasting your time. Goku, however, then walks over and tells Bardock, No, Dad. I think me and Whis noticed something strange when I was fighting you. Your potential is insane. I almost can't believe it, but you might have unknowingly mastered a certain technique that's taken me a whole lot longer. Well, almost at least. Bardock then looks back confused and replies, a certain technique? What are you talking about? How does one technique mean I could be a good training partner for someone like you? Listening to Bardock's disbelief, Whis then finally intervenes and says, That certain technique your son mentions, that technique is called Ultra Instinct, Bardock son. A technique that puts you far beyond even a god. A technique that puts you at the same level as angels and you seem to already be a natural at it. What? And just like that, Bardock's whole life and future is about to be changed forever. But that was it for today's video guys, and if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag UIBardock in the comments down below, and let me know also if you need that part 7 to drop this week, and what your predictions are. But as you know, I wrote and created all of these exclusive mangas on my channel. And if you want to own your own copy, plus 250 plus other fan mangas, you can support me on Patreon for just $3. Less than a cup of coffee and you get an insane exclusive collection. But if you want to see more content in my signature style, make sure to click on one of these two videos on the right, right now. Until next video guys, cheers.